watch Woody's Academics and check it out. So Tyga Simpson, apparently he's too busy keeping up with the Kardashians and the Jenners that he's actually allegedly forgot to pay his old landlord some back rent. Now, apparently he owes $90,000. Yes, you heard it right, 90 bands. He lived in a Calabasas home in 2010. These niggas ain't buying shit. They're renting, they're balling, they're flossing. Now, after he basically dipped without paying the $90,000 that he owed, and he's now chauffeuring around Kylie Jenner, Remember at a sneaker release, and I didn't do the story because we didn't know what it was for, at a sneaker release he recently had, a man ran up on him after waiting in line for two hours, got two pairs of his sneakers, and then served up Mr. Simpson with a court summons for him to appear in front of a judge. Now, basically, we find out what that's about. Apparently, it's about the $90,000 he owed for the goddamn house. Now, Tiger Simpson has not responded to even the summons they served him in person. He actually missed the court hearances then. And the landlord is filing more legal documents to force Tyga Simpson back in the court to answer to charges of, well, not even charges, but to answer to where the fuck is he keeping the money? Because it's at the point where the judge could actually grant for his assets to be seized just that the judgment or the uh, settlement or whatever the judge approved to be paid. Now, the guy who's suing him wants more because he's saying, dog. I was owed 90000 in 2010. This is 2015. This nigga flossing like a motherfucker. You see this nigga's Instagram? I need more bands. Okay, he said to keep it real, this should be $124,000. That's what that nigga owes me. That's what he needs to pay. Basically, they calculated interest and basically um, the time that he didn't pay, the interest accrued up to be $124,000 along with additional court fees, and lawyer fees. Now, look at it like this. Because it's not all bad for Tiger. Tiger's not a broke-ass nigga not getting money. He's getting a lot of shows. He's overseas right now doing, like, a tour. He could probably do it. That's, like, a couple of shows. Maybe, like, five, right? He could pay it. I'm not sure why he hasn't. Listen, whether you're rich or you're broke, a lot of people get into binds with their landlords. A lot of people these days rent instead of own. So if you have somebody as your landlord, a lot of people, especially when you're young, you get into that shit. Okay. Now, here's the thing, because if he doesn't pay it, the judge could issue a warrant for his arrest. So they could issue a warrant for him to get locked up until they find out where the fuck he's keeping his assets. And you got to realize, Tiger's a company, okay? So he doesn't have just a personal bank account. He's a company. Now, he might have money stashed away in a personal bank account, but probably everything he gets, maybe a car, maybe a house, it's under a company name. Right. So really, they have to really look far in between to find out where the money's at. So basically, they're going to try to find out where the money's at, what assets that business or him or whoever is registered under has. And they want to seize that until they could get that one hundred and twenty four thousand dollars in payment or actually the ninety thousand. The judge still has to rule on the one twenty four. So pretty much, man, I think Tiger better pay up, man. Listen, if you know you owe it, just pay the fuck up. I mean, Kylie Jenner's turning 18 in August, and you don't want to miss that. You don't want to be in jail missing that shit. You're going to be long dicking her in the back of the range. You want to be free. So hopefully he pays that up and gets that settled. But yeah, Tiger is being sued for $90,000 in back rent, and it's now escalated to $124,000 because of uh, interest. In the comment box, what do you guys think about this? Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Woody's Academics, man. I'm out.